hello guys uh, this is war uh, uh, we continue doing exercise on uh, pre-algebra uh, the last video uh, we saw to find a value of x and we was using uh, how uh, simplify to find the value of x uh, today we will use a different uh, technique and it's the same but we have a formula uh, we can use to find a value of x. So as you can see here uh, x equal uh, minus b plus or minus the root of uh, b power 2 minus 4 times a c all these are divided to 2a so the value or number you're going to plug on those uh, a and b and c is what we have here so we have 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 uh, equal 0 because we this is equation so we have to equal uh, zero. So, what you want to keep in mind here uh, is you're going to have two answers for this question. The first, we're going to solve the problem using the plus sign or positive, and the second step, we're going to use a negative or minus. So, here at the end of the, the solution, we should have two answers for uh, this uh, problem. So the first time we go uh, use uh, plus sign or positive to solve the first one. So we're going to get the value for x the first time using the plus sign. The second one we're going to use minus so we can get x. So we can say we're going to have two answers for uh, this problem. Uh, you can use uh, using a simplified method, but uh, today we're going to use uh, this rule to be able to get a value of x. Another thing you want to know is uh, multiplication when we have minus time minus or negative time negative equal positive is the rules. So whatever number you should have a positive but if you have a negative times a positive, you should get a negative. So this is a rule you should be familiar with. And also you have a root. Meaning all this rule, it should be one over two. And whatever number you got, let's say 16, it should be four. If you got 64, it should be eight. So, if you got 64, it should equal 8, 16 equal 4, this is 8, you got 121, it should be 11, and, and you go on. So, those things you should have, that skills, to help you to solve this kind of the problem. So, the first thing we're going to solve, uh, like I said, a positive sign or plus sign. So what we're going to do because we have a small board here so we just raise the, uh, the A and C and then we're going to raise here, we're going to raise B and we're going in this time. So what we have here it should be B so we have minus 3. And inside the root here, we should have 3 squared. And here, because we have A times B, C, so we should have 2 times minus 2. And here, 
it should be 2 times 2. Because we are just plucking. This is a B, this is A, this is C, and this is B minus. So what we should have at the end, uh, we're going to have minus 3, which is we are trying to find a value of X. And we say we're going to use the first time. So uh, 3 squared should be 9. And 2 times minus 2 should be minus 4 times minus 4. You should get a, a positive 16. And all these are divided to 4. Because 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So your answer should be minus 3 plus five and all this divided to four. How we get the five because at nine plus sixteen we got twenty-five and and twenty-five or root twenty-five it should equal five and that's how we got five. So so x so minus, uh, if you combine, you're going to have 3 because you take, uh, you're going to have 2 over 4. So you're going to have 1 over 2, which is, that's the first answer for x. So x is equal 1 over 2. So this, the second solution should be minus. So we're going to go back to the same thing. So x equal minus 3 minus and you have 9 plus 16 and all this divided to 4. So so when you take these out, this one it became 25, which is equal to 5. So you're going to have x equal minus 3 minus 5 because uh, the minus here outside, when this one it came out to be 5, you should have minus 5. So that's how you get 5, minus 5, and all this divided to 4. Are you here with me? And then it should be equal minus 8, and all this divided to 4, you should get minus 2. So, so the answer or value of x So x, it should be equal to 1 over 2 and then minus 2. And that's your answer for that. So if you have issue, let me know and I'll be able to help you. And as I said before, we just make one exercise and then if you have, so we don't want to make a lot of you know, uh, to be hard for you. But if you have any uh, question, you feel free to, answer, uh, to send me. If you like the video, share with others so we can make more. Thank you.